सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग सो वेलकम वी कैन स्टार्ट द मॉर्निंग सेशन वी बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ एंड जस्ट टू क्विकली रिकैप द स्टेप्स सो फार वी आर अप टू स्टेप फाइव बिन डिस्कसिंग स्टेप फाइव फॉर द पास सेवन डेज सो इफ यू लुक एट द स्टेप्स you know starting from step 1 of exercise 2 we can observe that there are two distinct realities as a human being i can see that i am there i exist as the self i know that i exist because i can see the activities going on within me i can see the thoughts i can see the feelings and so on so i know that i exist i am an existential reality i can also see that the body is there the body exists the body is also an existential reality and i can see that the body is there because i can read sensations through the body in step 2 we try to see that this interaction that is happening between the self the unit of consciousness and the body a material unit this interaction is in the form of information some sensations from the body are read some instruction is given to the body all this is information nothing physical is being transferred from one to the other and in step 3 we ask the question who is the decision maker who is deciding about everything about this interaction so i can see that i am the decision maker i choose when to read the sensation when not to read the sensation what sensation to read depending on whatever seems important to me and when i read this sensation in the body then i give some meaning to it and according to the meaning i give to it then i take some decision about it what to do with that sensation that i have read and then i give instructions to the body and the body follows so in all of this i am the one who is seeing i am the one who is reading the sensation i am the one who is doing i am the one who is deciding what instruction to give and i am the one who is experiencing so whatever sensations that i read i may be um liking or disliking but i am the one who is experiencing that impact of that what i read so ultimately i am the seer i am the doer i am the experiencer but i am using the body like an instrument for my purpose so this we saw in step 3 in step 4 we were trying to see that when i read the sensation am i the sensation am i in that sensation or am i at a distance from the sensation and we could see the very fact that i am reading it from a distance i can observe the sensation in any part of the body whenever i want i can do this from a distance now in step 5 we were trying to see that when i read a sensation 
what kind of meaning do I attach to that sensation? So if we can go back to step five from where we started. So now if you see that the sensation that you read, that sensation can be of you know, something that is happening within the body or something that is happening outside the body. But I'm trying to get that information of the outside through that sensation. And outside the body, it could be, you know, a sensation because of just some change in the weather, some environmental situation, something material which is just, you know, I'm trying to get the information about that. So I read the sensation about that. Or it could be when I'm interacting with another human being. Then the information I'm trying to get through the sensation that I read. So these sources of sensation, if you see about the interaction, when we're saying we're interacting with another person. So the other person may be saying something so if the person is saying something, that sound reaches the body, the ears. And due to this sound reaching the ears, there is some sensation in the body. That is one source. So that is just the sensation that is reaching. I'm the one who's giving the meaning as we were seeing in step five. Similarly, there is a situation outside which has an impact on the body. The weather is cold, the cool air touches the skin of the body. There is some sensation in the body. The body doesn't say that it is cold. The body just has that sensation. Now, I read the sensation and I decide that this is, it is cold and so on. Then there are many events happening within the body because of which there are sensations in the body. Again, there are many sensations in the body. I read whatever I think is important for me so I choose to read some sensation over the other. So none of these sensations or these effects is reaching the self directly. There is some effect on the body. There is some sensation in the body. And I choose, I decide to read some of these sensations or not to read them. Whatever I think are important, uh, is important to me, I read that. I taste that sensation. Taste, yani, as just like how when there is food on the tongue, you taste it. Similarly, any of the sense organs, when there is contact with the outside, you taste that. Depending on when you think it is necessary for you. Next slide. So then we saw that these three sources of sensation, how we give the meaning to that sensation, that is up to me. So different people may give different meaning to the same sensation. So for instance, when somebody is speaking, now somebody has spoken, there is some effect on the body. 
it leads to some sensation in the body. I taste that sensation. And the meaning I give to that sensation is based on my own sanskar. This sanskar may be in line with understanding or may not be in line with understanding. So like that example we took, somebody is saying something, somebody is shouting and the meaning that I give, I may be assuming that that person is shouting at me. The moment I give this meaning, he or she is shouting at me. This meaning, if we think, why have I given this meaning? It is because of my own sanskar. It is because I am assuming something about that person. I am also giving that meaning in accordance with whatever is my belief or, you know, when we say sanskar, some acceptance that I have about everything, about myself, about the other person, about this whole existence. And with all of that, I give the meaning. So I say, this person is shouting at me. But if I understand, I might be able to say, see, that he is shouting because he himself is in pain. He himself is in problem. And when he is in that state, he is only expressing his internal state outside. It has nothing to do with me. I need not become influenced by this. Similarly, when there is some physiochemical change outside, so like we said, cold weather, it has some impact on the body. There is some sensation. I taste that sensation and I give meaning to that sensation. This is also, in a, you know, you can see that it is due to your own sanskar. So if I have given, you know, a lot of importance to my body, if I am very identified with my body, if I am, I can't see myself separate from the body. Now this same sensation of cold may lead to a meaning in me that I need to really take care of the body because something has, can go wrong. And here I may be thinking that I'm going to be in danger because I may not be able to see myself separate from the body. So I may put on layers and layers and layers of clothing just so that I can shield the body. But if my, um, you know, tasting of that sensation, the meaning that I give, my sanskar is based on understanding, then I will see that there is some physiochemical change in the weather. Whatever I need to do to protect the body, I will do it with that awareness that I am just using the body like a tool and the body is my responsibility. So whenever um, you know, this change in weather is there, I need to be responsible and take care to protect the body and carry on with whatever I need to do. So I will give the instruction to the body accordingly. Similarly, if there is some event in the body, there is some sensation, I taste that sensation. 
Now I am again giving meaning to this according to my sanskar. So if I have this assumption again that I am not different from the body, even slight pain in the head based on my sanskar, I may become very um, tense, very anxious. I may start thinking about the article that I read in the paper or something I saw on the internet regarding brain tumors and I might go into all of those meanings and I may start giving that sort of meaning to this heading and so on, just as an example. But if my sanskar is based on understanding, I will just notice that there is a headache. I will try to see what may have led to this headache. I will see it as a symptom of disharmony in the body. And I will do what it takes to correct this disharmony in the body without becoming anxious, panicking and so on, reacting. Next slide, please. Yeah. So all this, if we look at, you know, if we break down all these steps, in the case of events outside, there is some effect on the body. The broad body is depicted by this brown thin block. There is some effect on the body which leads to some sensation in the body. Now you can see that all the actual stuff of you know, choosing to read, giving meaning to it, being influenced or not influenced by it, reacting or responding to it, choosing to express it outside or not to express it outside. All this I am doing by myself. In the body, there was only the sensation. So I choose to read or taste that sensation. Depending on whether it is significant for me, not significant for me. Like the example we took of the food. So, food is sitting at the table, something physiochemical in the environment. And I can smell this food. So, this effect is there on the body. The aroma from that food is reaching my nose and I can choose to smell it or I may choose not to read this, not to taste this sensation. If I am very busy with myself or if I am very busy, say I have an important phone call. And I am totally preoccupied with this phone call and I am talking to the other person on the phone. I may not read this sensation, but at another time, I may read this sensation. So I choose to do that. I decide to do that. I taste that sensation. And I give meaning to the sensation along with my sanskar. So if I taste that food, or even if you get the smell, if it is of something that I enjoy the taste, then, you know, I give the meaning that this is good food. If it is something that I dislike the taste of, 
then I give the meaning to this that it is not good food and so on. So this meaning that we associate is based on my own sanskar, my own acceptance. And my acceptance can be very different from somebody else's acceptance. So some people like a lot of chili in the food. Other people don't want to eat food with even the minimum chili. Different acceptances. So according to the meaning that I'm giving, I can be either influenced or not influenced by this event outside. So if my sanskar is based on knowing, then I can decide my feeling and I can be happy, I can be uninfluenced by this event outside and respond to the situation outside. But if my sanskar is based on some assumption, some acceptance without knowing, then it is not clear. I may or may not be influenced by it. I may be having a feeling in line with the natural acceptance or not in line. So if it is in line, I may be happy. If it is not in line, I may be unhappy. And I may respond, I may react, depending on the sanskar. So it is not clear whether I can be happy in continuity or not, because it depends on my sanskar, whatever meaning I have given. And accordingly, I may be happy or unhappy. And with all of this happening inside, now you can see whether I choose to express it outside or not. This much is happening within me. The response or reaction is already happening within me. And with this, it is only a question of it to express or not to express. Again, there also it is my choice. So I, I have given some meaning and I'm agitated when my boss says something. But with all this reaction inside me, so much unhappiness, I'm being influenced by all that he is saying. I'm having a feeling not in line with my natural acceptance. I'm having a feeling of opposition. I'm unhappy. I'm reacting inside. But I may choose not to express it outside. And I may be quiet. And I may not show any sign of discomfort, but I may be seething inside. So even though I did not express it outside, my own happiness is gone. So that is significant for me. Of course, if I choose to express it outside also, the body will act. Whatever I tell it to do, it will do. If I tell it to be quiet, it will be quiet. If I tell it to shout back, it will shout back. And there will be the expression outside. In the case of something happening within the body, when there is no event from outside, when it is not something outside that I am looking at or trying to get information on. We can go to the next slide. When it is something within the body, same things will happen, same steps. You can see event is happening within the body. Now there is nothing triggering it, some sensation from outside, but something within the body, there is some sensation. I'm the one who's choosing to read the sensation. 
I am the one who is giving the meaning according to my sanskar. And same set of steps like we just discussed. So if my sanskar is based on knowing, then I have ensured my feeling, the right feeling. And I am not influenced by this event within the body. I am secure in my feeling. I am happy. And I just respond to the situation. But if my sanskar is based on some assumption without knowing, then I may or may not be influenced. And I may react, I may respond. That is not clear. Because it will depend on whatever I have assumed. And again, if I decide to express that outside, I will instruct the body and the body will act. And there is expression outside if necessary. So with all of this, we can see reading or not reading the sensation. That is my decision. It depends on what sensation I consider important. And that is that depends on my own sanskar. What kind of meaning I give to the sensation that I read, that also depends on my sanskar. Then based on this meaning that I have given, I either get influenced or not influenced. So that is also depending on my sanskar. Because I am deciding, I am choosing to decide my feeling accordingly. So all of this, when it is dependent on my sanskar, it makes it very important that I should be aware of my sanskar. So I need to observe my sanskar. So that when I you know, try to understand When I am working for understanding, then I can bring my sanskar in line with this understanding and have the natural feeling, remain happy, respond to whatever the situation is. Otherwise, if my sanskar is based on assumptions without knowing, then I may not be evaluating whatever input I am getting correctly. So I may be becoming excited. I may be reacting to the situation. I may be unhappy. So therefore that question, what is my sanskar? And of course, there's not only one sanskar. All my acceptances that are there, I may have to see what is based on understanding, what is not based on understanding. So the simple way to do it is to look at what is right, to work for understanding, to refer to the natural acceptance. And anything that is not in line with this, when I'm observing from the top, from the level of pure observer, I'm able to see the sanskars that are not in line with this. But I focus on what is in line with the natural acceptance and whatever is not in line slowly starts fading, dropping off. So all of this has been discussed and if there is any question on any of this, we can take that discussion now. Yes, Srinivasji. Uh, Didi, regarding, uh, good morning to all, good morning Didi. Uh, regarding the, the sensations uh, that is uh, uh, eating, uh, choosing the uh, reading uh, sensations or not, 
mm-hmm. i think uh, i feel uh, it is not my uh, choice uh, of uh, selecting the sensation which should be read which should not be read uh, where sometimes we are forced to read the sensations so what i feel uh, is it uh, give an example why do you say that suppose suppose uh, 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 doctor uh, uh, gives uh, some medication okay mm-hmm. if we take uh, mm-hmm. then uh, some uh, body we feel some uh, bitterness or something uh, which is not uh, convenient for us even then we have we are feeling of uh, those sensations of course uh, after reading the sensations uh, the way we feel that is our choice but uh, the reading of sensations itself is not in our choice what i feel it is by course or by chance we need to read what i think uh, some clarification i'll give you an example you taste the food yeah right you taste yeah. any food that is made at home and you can taste whether salt is there or not whether it is cooked or not isn't it yes sir you can taste whether uh, it is hot or it is cold all that you can make out yes yes but sometimes you may be eating while seeing something on the phone yes hmm? you are busy seeing something on the phone and it may happen that you eat your food and your wife asks you was the salt enough and you don't recall does it happen yeah that's correct but it is too high or too low immediately unknowingly we can recall if it is normal just slightly deviating from the normal taste then we may not recognize but ah, it because too- it's important for you na you have a certain taste in mind right yeah now it is extremely high or extremely less extremely less many times you may still not notice if you are busy Maybe. isn't it something here yeah. in fact you sometimes even you know rice is not cooked properly also we might finish the meal and not realize yes if you are busy with something yes. else that is uh, that is uh, some rare situations uh, i think uh, in general uh, uh, we used to observe and uh, so you know depending on what is important to me i am reading isn't it yeah now if i think it may not be so important i may be busy reading some other sensation hey, but uh, uh is it important or not important uh, how do i myself uh, decide before deciding the sensations immediately force us to read or uh, without uh, knowing importance also uh, what i feel but uh, <laughs> depends on my see, sensors uh, ah, i may see if i have accepted something as important for me i read that sensation if i have accepted this is not important for me i don't read that i may not be aware of that i may not be consciously doing it i may okay. not be doing that with awareness but i am making such choices all the time isn't it okay but uh, suppose for example one more example hmm. i i have a dream uh, uh, that uh, gives me lot of disturbance and uh, fear, some huh? fear of fear of attacking uh, uh, from somebody so dream dream ha huh. dream dream even yeah. though dream huh. i i feel lot of worry in my mind uh, because reading the sensations even though it is not reality yeah but Means, see uh, in your... i am forced to read that or it is my choice <laughs> <laughs> is the dream your choice or is it forcing itself on you <laughs> that is happening uh, so maybe some situation happened in the day or something that may be stored in my memory or some because ah, that, so that something. is also my choice no but unknowing i don't know na <laughs> that's what i am not aware of many things yeah but i am choosing that also out of all the thoughts that i have some thought is there which is of significance to me 
so i am seeing it in my dreams also yeah, yeah. isn't it i may not be aware of it i may not be conscious of it but yeah. who is choosing i am only choosing that na i have so many yeah. thoughts so many incidents happened why do i dream only about some things yeah isn't it if but we, i feel some rare situations we force it to read the sensations or external or is, about what i feel the is important it? thing to see here is am i responding or reacting yeah isn't it yeah. i am giving meaning i am reading that sensation that is by choice i may not be aware of it but when i yeah. think it is very important to me i read it yeah so there is pain in the body there is you know like that example of the football player we give he has injured his foot but he may not even be aware of it yeah because he is so busy playing the game for him the game is most important yeah and the, the thing may be bleeding but he may not be aware of it but he is busy till the game is finished the scoring is done the game is over then he realizes oh i got hurt here now if the pain is very severe he may notice it at the time of the game yeah notice meaning now the pain is very severe it is important for him so he is noticing it yeah and yet he may decide choose to give instruction to the body to continue playing doesn't matter yeah. we'll get it after the game yeah all those instructions that we give those are our choices even what we are reading is our choice we may not be aware of it yeah and if you look you know what is the the sensation it what we are we are not trying to say you have to ignore sensations what we are trying to see is to observe that i am choosing this i am deciding this it is important for me to read many of the sensations so that i can find out something about the body about the world outside yeah. but what meaning i give to it right if i don't oh. understand things the way they are i may give a meaning an inappropriate yes. meaning to it yes and that may change the whole picture for me yes so i may become unhappy i may be influenced by that situation or that event in the body and i may react yes so all of this if we we can just keep it open right now but you will be able to see that whatever i am reading whatever sensation i am reading yes it is my choice acha you mean the uh, whatever uh, sensation from uh, within the body or uh, outside wall uh, it is uh, all uh, of my choice only i mean it is never happen uh, by uh, chance or by force Uh, I, I you know a lot of times we say by chance but it may be that we are not aware yeah yeah even the events outside ultimately the sensation is in the body yeah isn't yeah, it yeah yes yes events are outside how do i get to know about the outside yeah through sensation to body and then i can i will yeah so you are looking at so many things so yes. many images may be getting reflected in your eyes yes isn't it on the retina that image formation in the retina yes so so much is visible all of that is getting reflected into your eyes but you pay attention only to one thing out of that yes. like that discussion we were having the other day about taking pictures of a sunrise or something like that you have there are so many things that are visible the sun is visible the you know trees the the sky 
people walking so many things are there yeah. maybe a car all of that you pay attention to whatever you think is important to you so yeah. right now you are looking at the sunrise and it's like everything else is faded and your yeah. focus is on the sun yeah. you're choosing that yeah try to see this yeah uh, i need to a little bit more exploration to understand that completely i feel uh, sometimes that i chance on our course we need to read the sensations what i feel uh, so i need to have more exploration from my side i will do that yeah when this sensation is intense i read it because i have given this meaning to it that this is important for me yeah so i must read it yes with that meaning that i have given to it already i have decided within me yeah something that you know i may not be aware i choose to read it at that time when it is less intense i may choose to ignore it yes yes or not to pay attention to it yeah. uh, uh, more observation is required in this part yes, i yes. may not have much more observation yeah. no we can continue to observe i won't say that we don't have that observation it is just that we need to sharpen that process yes yes see more and more examples notice yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah thank you next please so even this um assignment that first one we had done this but right now we can take this second one any physiochemical condition outside there is some sensation in the body like the weather the sound touch on the skin sense of taste and so on try to observe this interaction right now we can do it. the floor may be cold a window may be open the air may be you know, reaching your skin try to observe this these sensations and see that process happening within you what kind of meaning are you giving are you getting influenced or uninfluenced what kind of feeling do you have are you responding or reacting what kind of instruction you are giving to the body try to observe this so this point 2 right now we'll do it for a few minutes we'll observe for 10 minutes or so i'll mute myself we'll do this observation now okay we have been observing for about 10 minutes now we can take your observations <clears throat> were you able to do this and what could you find in the chat there is a question by prasanna ji dream is not our choice we see that on its own so if you see what is happening in the day time then it may be easier to see what is happening in the night also so in the day time many things are happening lot of activities we are involved in lot of interactions with many people in the midst of all of this also we may notice that there are times when we are thinking about something about the past something that happened in the past right now it's not happening in front of us something that happened long back we may be thinking about it and why we are thinking about it if you go back and try to see that is also my choice isn't it so many things have happened in the past why am i thinking about something in particular because i have given it some meaning and for some reason it is important to me therefore i am thinking about it now even though it happened something happened in the past even though nothing is happening right now with that 
but I gave it some importance and out of all those memories, some thought seems important to me and I think about it. If we can see this is happening in the day, then we can see it can happen in night also. So some things we are anxious about, some things that seem important to us. We have those thoughts in the night also. And we see them as dreams. Isn't it? At least we can keep that possibility open and see if that might be true, your observations about it. Yes, Vineji? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so yesterday uh, in the evening after uh, 8 30, uh, it was raining uh, heavily. So, looking at that uh, with past experience, I thought that it will be uh, very cold in the morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, due to which uh, I uh, decided to have. Uh, to take if, uh, some measures so that in the night I should not feel very cold. When I got up in the morning, I really started uh, feeling that it's very cold. And with that, I started the day. But uh, when I checked the temperature, it was not changed. And when I got that, that the temperature is same and there is no change in the temperature, it is not even a one degree of drop. Immediately, that uh, feel uh, means that feeling was gone. <laughs> that is what I want to say. <laughs> nice, <laughs> very nice. You could observe something like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, based on what meaning we give, we are almost out of time now. I don't see any more hands raised. So, if we can just do this observation. Today, try to, because this is a very important step. And if we can have clarity about this, it can go a long way for our, um, you know, if we are aware of these steps, then we can choose and decide, decide things consciously rather than um, looking at it as if it is something that is happening on its own or that we have no choice. We should try to see that in at each of these points that we talked of, it is our choice. We are making this choice, perhaps unconsciously. Now we can just observe and do it consciously. So these first two steps, uh, these two assignments, point one, point two, we'll try to do this in a little more depth, try to observe each of these steps that is happening within and try to jot down the steps that you could see in yourself. And we'll take your observations tomorrow. I'll put it on the group also. Now we'll switch to the Hindi session.